does it mean to remember? Well, the Webster Dictionary defines remember as to bring to mind or think of again, or be mindful of. It doesn't necessarily imply that one has forgotten the thing, but rather that it's on their mind. Well, in the Bible, we see the phrase, God remembered. So what does that mean for God to remember? Is it just that it's on his mind? Well, in the Old Testament, when it uses the phrase, God remembered, the Hebrew word is zakar, which means more than just bringing someone to mind, it also means to act on their behalf. When God remembers, he takes action. For example, God remembered Noah. Then he made the water recede. God remembered Rachel. Then he opened her womb. And years later, hearing the Hebrews' cries for rescue, God remembered his covenant and rescued his people. See, David knew that when God remembers, when you're on his mind, he takes action. So David cries out to God in Psalm 25, 6, for God to rescue him when he says, remember, Lord, your great mercy and love. See, this is a cry for help, for rescue, not just for God to think about David, but for God to take action. Do you feel that God has forgotten you? I can assure you he is not. God remembers you. You are on his mind and he will act. But notice that in each of the stories I mentioned, there was a gap, a waiting for God to remember and act. Noah, he was in the ark with his family and perhaps he felt forgotten by God. Rachel was years waiting for a child while her sister Leah has baby after baby. The people of Israel wandered in the desert for 40 years. Had God forgotten them? After 400 years of silence between the Old Testament and the New, God remembered his promise to his people. Paul writes in Galatians 4, 4 this, but when the right time had come, God sent his son in the right time, God acts. He cannot forget you. Why? Well, because he has a constant reminder of you. Isaiah 49, 16 says, See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. So what's on the palms of God's hands? Well, they're scars from the nails that pierced his hands for you and for me. To show his great love for you, he took action against sin and death and provided a way back to God. This is how you know that God will never forget you. God remembers you. God has acted. So on this Remembrance Day and every day, God remembers you. Take time to remember him and all that he's done for you because that's courageous living.